Mural at Santa Monica City Hall is causing controversy. Because some people want it removed, and others say it's a piece of history that should stay. CBS 2's Joe Kwan has the story. I think it's racist. Oscar De La Torre says the mural doesn't represent the city he was born and raised in. The city of Santa Monica should um, have a, a, an image that respects all people. He claims the mural relegates Native American people as inferior and Europeans as superior. Kaylin Duffy and Will Sandage doing some sightseeing in Santa Monica disagree with De La Torre. I thought it was a like a cool little historical piece. Is it racist? I would I wouldn't say so. The mural is just steps inside City Hall to the left of this door. De La Torre plans to kick off an online petition Monday to ask the city to remove the mural. We think that it's better placed in a museum. But city spokeswoman Constance Farrell says moving the mural isn't really an option. Tile piece of art that in order to remove it, it would have to be destroyed. She says the public was invited to the city's Arts Commission meeting two weeks ago to talk about the mural and says there wasn't a large public turnout for that conversation. But Farrell says the city happens to be renewing its public art master plan. Asking the community to jump online, fill out a quick survey to really help inform um, what what people are looking for in public art in the future. She says the mural is a historic part of City Hall. De La Torre calls it psychological warfare against children. Sandage says the mural is a way to talk about history with kids. Just starting that conversation is probably the most important thing about it. Any changes would need City Council approval and because the building is a historic landmark, the Secretary of the Interior would also have to okay changes. In Santa Monica, Joe Kwan, CBS 2 News.